afternoon. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. There's probably some things that I didn't touch on when I did my two-year um, update as far as my ownership experience of the truck. I remember telling you guys and gals that are out there, um, pretty much that the truck has been running good, but I think uh, I probably failed to say that the truck has actually been running the same as brand new. Now, um, I want to touch on some things that uh, somebody had put down in the comments. I think this truck has really been downplayed. Uh, when I mean downplayed, they pretty much played this truck. Um, anybody that's from the city of New York like me, you know, when you get played, you pretty much get bamboozled or duped or something like that. So, I believe uh, this, this truck is undervalued for what it can do. And they basically, probably for warranty pur purposes, underpowered it. <clears throat> If you look at some of the heavy duties out there and you look at maybe like your Ford F-250s, maybe your, your Chevy uh, HDs and whatnot, you're going to see that these are very powerful trucks. Now, I do know this truck is not meant to compete with the heavy duties, obviously. It's meant to be in between. We're seeing that the heavy duties are now towing a buttload more than what they were towing before. I think 12... Geez, as far as what it can tow, just does not cut it. They need to up those numbers. Um, and I'm just, that's just me being honest uh, and giving you guys full disclosure here. Um, if you want to be taken serious as an automaker, you definitely have to go um, and start doing things differently from what the other people are doing. Don't just call yourself a tuning truck and go uh, and not tweak yourself and then say, well, okay, we started out with the 12K. Two years later, okay, well, the people are actually uh, coming around and they're uh, opening up to the truck brand because it takes a while for people to open up to something new, especially with a five liter Cummins like this. But um, to me personally, I think if they can get that towing number maybe to 14 or 15, there will be more of a tweener truck, more, you know, in between. Seeing that now your modern day half tons are now reaching those numbers, you know, they're very close to it. Um, but the innovations, I think they're a little bit ahead of their time. I know all the other automakers are doing it. Uh, the bed boxes, I think, was a really good idea. Uh, they can remove them, or you can remove them when you need to if you don't really need them. Uh, having the fifth wheel prep package is another good thing, but if you're gonna tow a fifth wheel with this, I wouldn't be towing a fifth wheel that was at its weight limit, you know, you just don't do that, you know, I'd go closer maybe to 10, but then if you have passengers, the Pro 4X model like this one can only tow 11,700, so if you got bigger passengers with you and you have cargo, you're not limited as to how much you can tow and how much tongue weight and all that good stuff you can actually put into a vehicle. So this is a little update I wanted to give you guys and uh, just want to let you guys know that I'll, I will be posting a, little, a few more videos. I posted a few in there. I know some may look like it's like clickbait, but no, I don't do none of that clickbait stuff because I hate it when I think, oh, this is a good video. And I go and I click it and it's absolute crap or something or, or not really something I wanted to see, you know. Um, I'm just uh, playing around with different programs and doing better videos. So I got that Director's Cut Pro, whatever the heck they call that, you know, that software. That's pretty decent stuff, but be on the lookout. I might go out here, start test driving other trucks, and just let me know what you guys think. Um, all the other automakers maker are doing some pretty uh, decent stuff out there, so uh, I don't, I'm not one of these guys that's just like a brand loyalist and just going to just because I have a Titan XD, but Ram is doing excellent things, uh, so is Ford and Chevy as well, so be on the lookout for that stuff, they're doing some pretty awesome stuff, but getting back to the Titan XD, I know I'm kind of sort of uh, going off topic here quite a bit, but um, I got it because it wasn't like anything else out there, and I didn't want to do status quo, I didn't want to look like everybody else that has a Ford or everybody else that has a Ram or they got a Chevy just because uh, I wanted something that was completely different and and wasn't like anything else that's on the market and that's why I got it you know um, 
these days, if you get a good vehicle, just stay with what you got. Because, to be honest, more time than not, you may end up with something that's lemon. I've heard stories where people have um, lemons as tight next D's. And I'm actually, you know, surprised. You know, it all depends on what dealership you go to, whether they're going to uh, take care of you or not. The dealership I got it from, they took care of every little uh, thing that I had, you know, minor little things that went wrong. And the only things, basically, that went wrong for me was I had, like, but they were all taken care of in a recall. It's not like... Um, it like left me on the side of the road. I had to reduce power. Uh, like it would kind of sort of jump at first, you know, like it was like underpowered and then they did a, a reprogram basically um, the TSB for the transmission and that fixed it. And it fixed it well, uh, actually. Um, and then uh, from what they told me, you basically have to drive it like you normally do, just give it its time and the vehicle will learn how you drive basically and start applying it. After that, I didn't have any issues. You know, I had the turbo issue, which was a recall. And instead of just do quick little patches here, they didn't do that. They just replaced the whole turbo in 2017. You know, they said, you know, that way. So, to have uh, faith in this dealership. I've heard others where they don't want to do stuff like that. They just want to nickel and dime. And, well, let's just replace this key here. Or let's replace the small part here and not really solve the problem. So I think uh, as far as the dealerships go, it all depends on if they take care of you yeah, properly and stuff like that. It doesn't matter if it's Ford, Chevy, Dodge, or whatever heck it may be. As long as they take care of you and do they honor what they say they're going to do, that's what matters for the most part. But uh, hopefully you guys are all doing well and Hope to have a little chat and discussion with you guys in the future. So, you guys take care and guys and gals, if there's gals out there, sorry, because I, but uh, talk to you guys soon. Take care. Adios.